To access the X600M setup pages using its built-in web server, it must be addressed on the same network as a configuration computer. First, we will be using the automatic method using DHCP and NetBIOS, which are supported by most networks. If you are not sure if these are available, we recommend trying this method first. And if it doesn't work, then refer to the manual method covered in the next video. Also, if you are using a router that doesn't support DHCP, or if you are using a direct connection between the X600M and your computer, you will need to use the manual method. Make sure the X600M is not powered and then connect it to your local network using an ethernet cable. After the network is connected, apply power. Wait about 15 seconds and then open up a web browser and enter http colon followed by two forward slashes x600.local slash setup dot html into the address bar and press enter. This will only work if the x600m and the computer are on the same local network. A pop-up window will appear. Enter the default username, which is admin, and the default password, web relay, all lowercase. Once in the setup pages, click Network, Advanced Network, NetBIOS MDNS, and change the local hostname from x600 to another name. For this example, we'll change it to x600m. Press Submit and click Commit Changes. You can now log on to the device using the new name. If you are setting up multiple x600m devices, you will need to change the local host name for each device. You will also want to avoid having multiple products with the same factory default IP address on the network at the same time. If setting up multiple control by web products, be sure to clear the ARP cache after disconnecting each unit. Information on how to clear the ARP cache is available on the web or in the X600M user's manual. Once you have logged into the X600M setup page, you are ready to start configuring it for your specific applications.